Good evening YouTube. So um, this is an activation and gearing up um, of Rose Tico and Amelin Holdo. Um, I'm going to go for Amelin first of all I think. So let's activate her. I've got the sound switched off sorry. Um, probably could have popped it on for this but never mind. Two stars, confirm. Um, so what we'll do now is we will just max her. Fortunately, I've been hoarding credits. I had hoped to get over the 100 million, but um, yeah, that's gonna take a while now, isn't it? Because I'm about to do exactly the same thing with Rose afterwards. Um, not sure how far we can get her, so let's find out. I haven't bothered with the base stats, um, and I doubt if I'll, and we'll have a look at where she gets to. Ideally, I would like to get her and Rose to a minimum gear seven, that would be ideal. I'm loving the fact that my galactic power is just getting closer to the uh, the 50 mark, the 3,550,000, which kind of was my next target. However, everyone that was ahead of me on the collection score leaderboard, of course, <laughs> will be the same amount or similar I'm waffling as I'm gap filling as I continue gearing her up where are we now gear level 5 I'll get concerned when I have to start crafting gear ok everything is still showing green. Wow, well, she needs a lot of keyboards. And up to gear seven. What are those Mark Four or oh, Mark Fours? Okay, um, what I will also do is do her ability upgrades and then we'll unlock Rose and try and get her up to gear level 7 as well. Do physical damage to target enemy and the last, the least even, Healthy other resistance ally gains foresight for two turns. When this foresight expires, that ally recovers 10% health. Okay, not happening at the moment. I'm conserving my Omegas and Zeta Shards. Zeta Shards? Whatever they are. My Zetas, I suppose, yeah. Inflict defense down, evasion down on the primary target for two turns. Reprieve, dispel all debuffs on target other ally. They recover. How much health do they recover? They recover quite a bit. They recover. 40% health and with the Omega 20% protection and quiet confidence when another resistance ally lo loses foresight Amelin Holdo gains taunt for one turn while Amelin Holdo doesn't have taunt she has plus 
how much speed. Is where the Zeta comes in. When another ally loses foresight, Amelin Holdo gains Taunt for one turn and recovers 10% health. While Amelin Holdo doesn't have Taunt, she has plus 50 speed and all other resistance allies have 20% plus 20% critical avoidance. Okay. Um, oh, Actually, one final thing we can do is bump her up to three stars. Okay, that's Amelin. I'll pop the mods on later. She is very slow, though, isn't she? 80 B, 80. Wow. Okay. So if I go down one, here is Rose Tico. Tico. Let's activate Rose. Confirm. And same again. Oh, it does annoy me when you. There we go, got a hold of it at last. So, same again, we'll just go through and wow, getting close to that fifty. Wondering whether there will be any use at um, the event that's on today. I should know what it's called. What's going on here? My curiosity is why I'm having to keep tapping everything to apply it. Look at that, I've got a gap already. Yeah, thank you, three of them. Suggest to me that I only need one <laughs> upgrade. Oh, there's another gap. This is oh, then. This is from five to six. It's not good. two of those uh, that would say to me that I need three another gap these mark four laptops get eaten up so fast okay I'm gonna have to buy some energy here I've been hoarding all my crystals for uh, a while now, along with my Zetas and Omegas. Oh, great. So, upgrade. There we are. So, we've got her up to gear level 7. What does she need here? A Mark 6. Uh, Mark three. I'll chuck that one on. I think we can afford that one straight away. Oh, I 
our bounty and okay uh, deal physical damage to target enemy and grant tenacity up for two turns to a random assistant resistance ally who doesn't have it and then we're just increasing the damage deal physical damage to target enemy and grant tenacity up for two turns to a random resistance ally who doesn't have it okay Fifty percent chance to attack again, once per turn. Resistance allies gain defense up for two turns. Rose Tico gains a percentage turn meter. What's that? We're going to be on 10% here, aren't we? Because I'm not giving the Omegas out. So here, resistance allies gain defense up for two turns. Rose Tico gains 10% turn meter for each resistance ally and each first order enemy. Okay. So is that suggesting that these two are going to go at it quite a bit? For each resistance ally, remove 8% turn meter from target enemy. Oh, this attack cannot be evaded. Oh, that's not too bad. What was the... Uh, was all the cooldowns are five. I'll recall now. By recall... Oh, I went over the, the 50 that I wanted to go over. Yay! Deal special damage to target enemy and inflict stun for one turn. When this stun expires, the target is dazed for two turns, which can't be evaded or resisted. Well, that's quite a useful one. That's worth an Omega, isn't it? A, you know, coming back to, um, she's three star, gear seven. She's not getting an Omega. Not happening. And she has 10% offense for each exposed enemy. And the Zeta here is when, other, when another resistance ally scores a critical hit, Rose Tico gains 10% turn meter. So she's going to get a lot of turn, turn meter. And same as Holdo, let's bang her up to three stars. Okay, um, what have we got? That's a nice mod. Okay, I'm going to go with the five speed one just because um, no, let's upgrade and pop that one on. speed I might be um, switching these around I'm just looking for something that maybe has speed on it oh there you go and then we're gonna stick something apparently I don't have on here Okay, so let's upgrade this one then. It's showing health and speed. What's going to turn? Speed turn the first time. Health turn the second. You know, I'm just going to max it because it's going in. And we've got some potency and a bit of critical chance. So I'll assign that. And I just need to max this one as well. There we go. Confirm. There's another thousand galactic power. So if I go back, oh no, 
So even with the mods, she's not, uh, of course, because she's a tank. Um, okay, I'm gonna see how far I can get with health. Protection five, no. We go speed with uh, with some health. Um, okay, that's the tenacity set done. Have I got anything? Oh, protection five speed, and that could be handy. Confirm. Right, so find continue. That should now be so we'll craft and equip, craft and equip. It's just that one thing we want here. I'm just going to go to the uh, the chi pile. Craft. Equip. Okay, so that's where we stop there. Well, it's not too bad. What's that? Oh, that got to go on, hasn't it? looking for here my I can't do that uh, I can't do that and I can do that which is probably worth it because this is two speed there I mean that's almost a mod in itself isn't it I think we need the other part to this yes we do there we go craft and give that to Amelin. So she's now up to 136 speed. Um, yeah, she's going to be slow. 14,000 health, 18,000 protection, speed meh. Um, we'll see how we get on uh, in the event. But that's it for pullback now and I'm going to switch over to resistance yeah that's more like it so Aveline and Rose languishing a bit but um, they've both now been activated. Thank you for watching.